you are looking to buy, sell or swap RuneScape GP, check out RS.Gold. They give you the best rates at a very fast respawn time. Their customer service is also very friendly and is there for you 24-7. Their company also hosts RS Jackpot which is a case opening website. You can earn some fast old school RS or RuneScape tree items. Then again you can use the coupon code NOOBS for a 5% discount so definitely make sure to do that. Anyways, enjoy the video. Yo, what's going on guys? I'm back with another video and today I am back on my own server to showcase the Halloween event we are hosting. Now we worked quite a long time to get this event ready to release, but anyways, here it is. So right now I'm just going to showcase real quick on how you do the event. It's pretty easy and it's uh, yeah, it's just a small mini quest that we made. So to start off, you go to the clan camp and once you are here, you will see a bit up to the north where the clan stadel is you will actually see the pumpkin pete now you'll have to talk to him go through the conversation and um, once the conversation is over you actually just go through the red portal and you will be teleported in this house which looks halloweeny so that's pretty nice of course and then you have Zabbat right here so you'll have to talk to Zabbat and um, he's kind of drunk so he'll just ask you uh, some things and then you'll you'll just call him an agent and then you'll have to get him a drink to actually make up for it But yeah, of course you will need to talk to the Grim for the drink But the Grim Reaper doesn't just give the the, the drink he wants the vampire dust uh, Just to get you know the fizz of the party, you know what I'm saying um, But then you go have to go upstairs and then you have to go search basically everything to get yourself three vampire dust so you can search the wardrobe right here the bed um, basically everything the towels right there so um, yeah you will need to find yourself three dusts and uh, once you have found yourself to three dusts you will actually have to go and give them to um, the grim reaper who will then of course give you the drink that you will have to give to um, Zabbat again so um, as you can see right there, I have the three dust. So once that is done, you just head back downstairs and um, go talk to the Grim Reaper again. And hopefully he will give us our drink so we can finish off this mini quest. It's actually super fast and uh, super easy to do. So once you have the drink, you will have to go talk to Zabot again. Now, by the way, it's very important that you go through all the conversation because if you don't finish the conversation, um, you will not be able to continue. But as you can see, that's the event completed. So you get yourself a skeleton um, set, which looks pretty dope. But then you can go through this dark portal here in the beginning of the house, which will teleport you to this location. And as you can see, there are a bunch of fire watches here. So uh, let me just go in god mode and kill them real quick. So these have 25,000 HP each. But if you examine them, they drop the side and pumpkin at a pretty rare drop uh, drop rate. But they also drop these purple sweets, which then can be used right here in the Halloween store. Um, you can buy yourself a jack lantern mask. You can buy a warlock set, web cloak, grim reaper hood, but also the... Um, um, Halloween masks right here. Now these Halloween masks are quite interesting because these are discontinued in the donation store which means you can buy them. Um, well there is there is one discontinued item in donation store every month for about five dollars and you can buy that but after that month it will be discontinued and you will not be able to get it again unless there is an event like the Halloween event for example. Um, but you are allowed to real world trade these um, Halloween, uh, these rares later on, so for old school or RS3 GP. Um, of course, you will need to use a staff as a middleman, but this can be seen as an investment for people who feel like donating. Um, they can get their money back after a while if the people here want to buy it because the price will just go up because it's discontinued. Anyways, that's the small event for Halloween that we are hosting. However, there will be a price rewarded to this as well. Now, we are also hosting like an event uh, for this Halloween event, which will be giving away a prize at the end of the Halloween event. Now, for the people who want to grind this out and get themselves like 20 billion purple sweets or something, that would be pretty nice. Uh, but you can spend your uh, purple sweets, of course, in the shop. But the person who has the most purple sweets at the end of this two-week period that this event will be live, 
Um, so on November the 14th, this event will not be live anymore. And the person who has the most purple sweets at that time will um, get the option to choose between $50 PayPal or a $50 donation. It is up to them. So you can actually win yourself a $50 donation. But if you rather have the real life money, I will send you $50 PayPal personally if you have the most amount of purple sweets um, collected by that time. So it's up to you if you want to collect them and uh, go for this event uh, or actually spend them in the store right here. I'll leave that up to you guys. But anyways, that was the Halloween event. So right now I will go over a few other updates that we have done in the past couple of weeks because it's actually been a while since I made a video on Immortal. Now starting off at the home area, this is a pretty small update but a lot of people requested it. We added the prayer altar and um, if you do get the bones um, so if you get yourself some bones you can actually use them on the altar now and actually offer them all for 200% of the experience that you would get while you bury them so yeah normally on the most 667s you would have to bury the bones but this actually um, now does the altar system which makes it afk and uh, faster to do so that's pretty nice as well by the way if you haven't already make sure you are subscribed that and that you like this video also make sure to turn on the notifications to get notifications of further videos but anyways let's go ahead and continue with the video so going through the teleport system as you can see we have a new boss the general donzi right here which i'll go to right now and show you guys now this is quite a huge boss as you can see it does have over 1 million hp and it's quite hard to kill now the top three damage uh the top three people who do damage here um will get a drop and um the other people will of course not get a drop but this can drop the boxing gloves which are pretty good gloves and these are also used to upgrade to the best in-game slot um, armor so that's pretty nice as well so let me just go ahead and get all the ingredients to make the full armor set of this best in slot uh, because that, that set is pretty OP but as you can see we just got a bills bag right there all right so what I have in my inventory right now is not even all the ingredients yet I just want to show if you right click craft and you do not have all the ingredients it will show you what you need so for example to make the, um, the um, dungeon masters life melter which is the best minigun in game you need 1000 bills bags, 3 demonic chain smokers, dragon warhammer and all the sacred clay weapons. Uh, for demon horn boots you need 1 troll cash and all the boots. So let me just do that real quick. As you can see right there I will be able to make the dungeon master boots right there. So um, let me just spawn in 5 trill more so I can actually make all the things. So I have the um gloves as well let me just see oh i did not have all the stuff yet so let me just get that real quick all right now so i have everything besides the dragon warhammer for the life melter but let me just um upgrade this real quick the plate body then the plate legs and the helm right there now all i need is um the dragon warhammer so let me get that real quick get id dragon warhammer so i can show you guys that last one so um i three two four six seven and um here we go and now we should be able to upgrade the minigun as well and uh, let me just show the stats on this armor real quick because this armor is super overpowered of course it's super hard to get as well it will take quite a long time to, for you to gather all these items Starting off with the minigun, as you can see, 1750 range trend and 1250 range accuracy. It looks super epic as well. Um, and then the set right here, the full set has 3250 range trend and 1501 uh, melee strength and all these other bonuses. So yeah, that's quite insane to see right there. Um, this is the best set you can get in game right now and it's only true all these crafting recipes. Now another boss that has been added is the Frozen Queen right here as you can see. Now this boss drops the Imbued Virtus which is the, uh, well not the best but is a really good uh, mage set. Um, also the Blink is now a PVMing zone for beginner players uh, where they can actually grind to get some big monies which I'll show right now. Um, but for the people who have noticed so far, we actually um, changed the complete drop rate system. So instead of a percentage, you now get the actually rarity. So on average, you will get it 1 in 512 kills. This is because the um, percentage was kind of bugged. And if you actually put something between uh, under 
a 1% drop rate, the chance of getting it would um, increase by one, uh, decrease by 1,000 uh, times. So yeah, that's kind of uh, messed up. So that's why we redid the complete drop rate system to make it chances. Um, now, as you can see, this drops the imbued Pernix, which is a very good beginner set. Same with the imbued Zerite bow. Um, also drops the Ring of Wealth, which you can get to grind out yourself some of these um, some of these rail drops. Now, anyways, that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this small video where I posted some updates. I will be starting a series on here pretty soon. However, right now I still have exams for school and stuff, so I'm quite busy with that. But once all that is over, I will start a series right here on a brand new account starting from scratch and becoming one of the richest players. That's at least the goal I have. Um, and of course, by accomplishing that, I will encourage new players to also make money and stuff. Also, we added a completely new starter whip for beginner players. So if you create an account now, you will get a starter whip with a full starter set. Um, the starter whip will degrade after 2000 hits, but it has decent stats. So yeah, that's really nice as well. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe. If you didn't already, I'll be catching you guys in the next video. Peace.